Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to talk about how Firebase crash reporting saved my ass. <laughs> Alright, so let me start out by talking about the new intro. Did you see it? Were you paying attention? If not, rewind a little bit. Have a look. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday Sandy finished a new intro to the videos, right? I, I think it looks pretty good. But the last one we did, we have for like the last 65 episodes was done by Ken York. Uh, who's located in Japan and he did it for us and he just sent it over and we, we've been using it for ages which I really love that one because it shows what the overpass is but you know so thanks very much to Ken if you're out there watching still if you're still there right uh, and thanks to Sandy for doing the new intro I think it looks pretty cool you know we're trying to you know jazz things up a little bit, make it look a bit fresh I think I might uh, grow a mustache or start speaking with some sort of you know English accent or something like that but you know we'll try we'll try to change things up a little bit anyway so yesterday yesterday I did the video where I talked about um, you know rewardable items so you know the fact that we put in you know rewarded ads and we're also doing firebase uh, firebase invites and things like that and you know and I and I got in the car and I drove out to the countryside and I set everything up and I you know I got really art you know artsy with the filming and everything Little did I know that while I was filming that, my app EarSpy was crashing all over the place. So like the previous day, I'd released a build, right? Uh, and luckily, I used analytics in it. I used, you know, Firebase Analytics and Firebase Crash Reporting, which are hugely important. So, so here's what happened. You know, I put in a few new features and just released a small build. You know, when, when you go through Google, and it was, this was the Android version. And when you go through Google Play now, they start saying, you know, who do you want to release it to? And because it's like, you know, I think it's deployed to like 200,000 users at the moment, it said, you know, it recommends just deploying to 1% of the users. But, you know, it just sounds so boring to me. And I'm like excited to get these new features out. So I say, no, let's send it out to 50% of all the users. So I, so I send it to 50% of all users. And, you know, then there's nothing, you know, you don't hear anything. I, and by the way, I did test this. I tested this on a device. I tested it on the two devices I have here. Everything worked fine, right? But, you know, when I got back to the, you know, this yesterday morning, after I finished doing the video, it had actually been out in the world for about, about 18 hours. So then we started to get some of the crash reporting in. And I started to see that this thing was crashing on a lot of different devices. Right, so hey, have a look at my screen. Let's talk a little bit about crash reporting and analytics in general with Firebase. So if you have a look at my screen here, I've got it open to the stream view of, of, uh, of EarSpy, which is the big app. Yeah, I love using Firebase, and we, you know, I've been slowly been you know, adopting it more and more in different things. It's kind of been my, my favorite tool lately. And I use Google Analytics initially. So this is the, the stream view, so everything like in the last 30 minutes. The nice thing about Firebase is I can have one project and have like all the different variations of the application there and quickly switch between them including the Android ones and also the dynamic links down here so I can just send out a link rather than say this is the iPhone link this is the Android link you know, just send it off to one of them right so anyway I go over there to crash reporting you know and I start realizing that we see this huge spike right you know when, when I came back I thought, oh that looks you know that looks bad right you know and I get Maybe, I know, you know what, and I know I could have used all those different tools like, um, you know, the, um, uh, the, the performance testing and all that kind of stuff and uploaded it and run it a lot, like lots of different, you know, tools, but I really was a very small release. Basically what it was, was I added in Firebase, you know, invites, which is cool, but I also removed an ad network. So I removed Start App as an app network, which I, you know, like a week ago, I'd implemented Start App. And, you know, I'll talk another day about Start App. You know, it's, um, it seemed to be a good network, you know, and, I, and, and the, the, their support was really, really good. But, you know, it just seemed to, it added too much to the permissions. Like, I had to add, like, a lot of location and bootloader and things like that. And people started asking, you know, you know if, I, if I use this app, why does it need my location? And I had to say, you know, so we can, you know, serve you ads, which is not really what I wanted to say. I wish I had something else to say. So yesterday what I did was I removed the uh, location. I removed all the Start App. Uh, you know SDKs, but I did not remove one uh, item that the, where it instantiated the services in the uh, manifest. So this is what happened. So you can see here it just it spiked up yesterday, and you know it sort of raised the alarm bells. 
I went through and I started looking at it. This was version, you know, 54, so I could see, you know, I see 55, which, the, which was the fix. That's, you know, a lot better, but it was really 54 where we saw all of these crashes come through. Now, the nice thing about crash reporting, and a good, you know, is that you could just go through and, you know, you can see the stack traces. I mean, it's very similar to what you have in the Google Play console, but it gives you a lot more information. So you can see here, it started crashing on all of these. I could see that it was actually trying to create this service on, let me show you here in a second, you know, com.startup.android.publish, which is one of the SDKs that I removed. Now, I removed it from there, but I didn't remove the service instantiation from the manifest, so it really just took a few minutes to find it, right? So the nice thing was I could go through and go back and release a new version and release it out to everybody, and then everything's resolved. So it, was re it really is important to check those crash reportings as soon as you do it. Now, in contrast, if I show you the Google Play Console, the ANRs and, um, ANRs and crashes, ANR means uh, application not responding, crashes are the crashes. You see, it doesn't even have, even today, a couple days later, we still don't even have that data because it's back a few days. So we, you know, it was really, you know, it's much clearer to look at it in the Firebase Analytics, you know, at least, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Right now, the reason this is important is because when you put an app out into the field, if you're not using any kind of analytics at all, is that when you put an app into the field, Right, nobody's going to tell you if it's crashing. See, the whole time, uh, let me go, actually, let me just go back to this again, uh, 54. So yeah, it says only, you know, the 85% of, of app runs were free of install. So it was affecting 15% of users, which is actually quite a lot considering the amount of users it was. Now, do you know how many bad reviews I got during that time? None. Nobody complained. Nobody said anything, right? <laughs> this is a, you know, and this is the case, right? This is one of the things that a lot of developers think. And I know this from experience that I've thought this in the past, right? Is people assume that if nobody's complaining, everything's running fine. I, I mean, a lot of clients that I work with, you know, they'll say, you know, you know, users are complaining about the application crashing, but the developers say that, you know, that, you know, everything's running fine because they, you know, when they test it on their devices, everything runs fine and they don't have any analytics or logging in place, right? And the whole nature of distributed you know, computing where we have you know, all these apps on all these different devices, so like somebody who's running this app in, you know, in, in Dayton, Ohio could have it crash. I, I'm not gonna know it if it's not connected directly to the server or if I don't have any kind of analytics in place, right? Now, and that person in Dayton, Ohio, it, what it crashes on, you know, the last thing he's going to do, or, you know, unless he's really interested in using the app, he's going to send me an email and tell me it's crashed, or he's going to leave a review and say it's crashed. More likely than not, he's just going to say, oh, screw it, and he's just going to uninstall it, because you know, that's what I would do. As a developer, I assume that people are going to tell me when something's wrong, right? As a user, I can't be bothered, right? It, you know, it's not just with apps either. If I go into a restaurant and the food is bad, you know, the odds are I'm not really going to complain. You know, and, and it's not just, you know, or if you, like say if you go into a restaurant and the restaurant smells bad, right? You go in with your family, the restaurant smells bad, you know, and so you just start, you quietly just leave, right? You don't say, you know, to the waiter, excuse me, this place smells bad. Anyway, we're leaving, right? You know, they'll never know. They just won't know. And this is the same with your app. If something's crashing, you know, you can't expect your users to tell you. And if they do tell you, they're not going to give you enough information anyway. They're going to say things like, hey, I tried your app the other day and nothing happened, right? I opened it and nothing happened. And you'll say, so did you get a blank screen? Did you, did you click on anything? Did, you know, was it just sluggish? You'd, you'd ask like, you know, a hundred follow-up questions, right? And they'll just say, it's hey, just nothing happened, right? Because, you know, because they're not, you know, it's not their job to tell you what's wrong with your app. It's your job to know it. So anyway, analytics are important. Crash reporting, definitely important. It saved me yesterday. And, uh, you know, if you're not using it, definitely do that. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys on Monday.